Hello, race fans, and welcome back to the More Freedom Series. Today we have traveled to the Michigan International Speedway for the Michigan 60. This is going to be race number 31 in the More Freedom Series Season 4. And again, the season is winding down, so let's go through those top 10 and points. Your points leader is the double zero of Mudbone. Second will be the 20 of Adam B5000. Third will be the 25 of JTM. Fourth will be the 544 of Frederick Winklevom. Fifth will be the 95 of Zed Brunner. Sixth will be the 72 of Duchess. Seventh will be the 49 of Jetman. Eighth will be the 11 of TC Roberts. Ninth will be the 40 of Veteran Chaos. And rounding out your top 10 will be the 10 of Scooter. Let's check in on those team and chassis standings. Douche Motorsports still leads the way with MBR second. Third will be Amish Buggy Racing. Fourth will be Aces to Zed Motorsports. And rounding out the top five will be the Drop Bear Racing Team. Chassis standings are Dodge, Chevy, Toyota, and Ford. So that's a look at all things points today for the More Freedom Series here today at Michigan. Shaping up to be an interesting end to season four here in the More Freedom Series. So they're piling into the stands and I think it's about time. So let's go racing. As they get these cars fired up, let's go through your starting top 10. Starting on the pole will be the 29, a wishbone attack. And on his outside, the three of Geek Girl Games. Starting third will be the 329 of Heck of a Duber. And on his outside, the 420 of Queen of Hearts. Starting fifth will be the 211 of Hogs. And on his outside, the 777 of Seabass. Starting seventh will be the 10 of Scooter. And on his outside, the 20 of Adam B5000. Starting ninth will be the 34 of Super Snake. And rounding out your top 10 will be the 07 of Douche Baggins. So let's look at your starting top 10 today for this Michigan 60 special happy birthday to the triple seven of Seabass. His birthday was actually on November, or I'm sorry, uh, September 28th. So happy birthday to Seabass, the triple seven. Wishbone attack is leading us down to take the green flag here today at Michigan. Uh, just as a note, your points leader the double zero of Mudbone starting 11th today and the winner of the IROC series race vet he is starting in 12th so he's going to try to make it a back-to-back -back wins here at Michigan but I think there's a lot of drivers here who might have something to say about that and we're going to see what the three or the 29 has to say the 329 is starting right behind him for douche motorsports and on his outside last season's champion the three of Geek Girl Games, she definitely knows how to win a race, so we're going to see what she can do here today as Wishbone leads us down to take the green flag. We're waiting on the starter. Green flag is out, and we are underway. It is already getting insane here at the front of the field as the three of Geek Girl Games leads us down into the turn. It is three, four wide right now. G3 has a heck of a run down the back stretch. She is gonna be able to possibly lead lap number one here at Michigan. She's looking for win number one this season for, G for herself. Uh, G3 Motorsports has two or three wins with the three, five, six of ice cream some days already. As the 420 of Queen of Hearts down to her inside. We're watching back here in the back of the pack as Wishbone got caught on the outside. He's falling back. And would you look at this? Your points leader, the double zero of Mudbone, who started in the 11th position after one lap, is now up to fourth. So Mudbone is trying to make it, I think, six wins this season. Am I... Am I Possibly six wins this season is that double zero of Mudbone. He is trying to just secure the championship here at Michigan. But your leader now is that three, the three of Geek Girl Games. Let's bring up your timing and scoring. As always, top 10 will be on your left. Favorite driver scrolling across the top as G3 who pulls that car after starting in the second position is able to get to the outside and make a great move and put herself out to the lead. The 10 of Scooter down to the inside right now on the 420 of Queen of Hearts. 
He's off the gas into the turn. He's going to slow it down a little bit. The double zero of Mudbone right to his back bumper. Mudbone might be dropping down to the inside along with the 20 of Adam B5000. Adam staying to the outside. Here comes the 23 of Fuller than you down to the inside. He's going to make a good run to the back bumper. The double zero of Mudbone. Adam's trying to work to the outside right now on Mudbone. As he, this is a battle on the track and for the points championship as Adam currently almost 100, uh, he's, he's about 170 behind this double zero of Mudbone. So Adam definitely needs a huge win here today to try to make up a lot of those points. He is gonna work on the outside of the double zero. So does the 23 of Fuller than you. And here comes the triple seven of Seep as the owner to that double zero of Mudbone. Up here at the front of the field, Scooter down to the inside of the 420 of Queen of Hearts. He's going to try to make a run down the front stretch into turn one. He's got a good run on that 420. The three of Geek Girl Games, let's see what she does. She drops it down to the inside right there in front of the tennis Scooter. We're going to see if the 420 stays to the outside. She does. She's going to get a good run on that three of Geek Girl Games. Scooter up onto the block on the 20 of Adam B5000. Here comes that 23 of Fuller Than You, the double zero of Mudbone. Let's see which way he goes here. So Adam working to the outside of that 23 of Fuller Than You. Mudbone working down to the inside. That's going to be a three wide sandwich with the 23 of Fuller Than You in the middle right here. Fuller pulling up in front of that 20 of Adam B5000. You just got to be careful around that 23 of Fuller Than You. Got to give him a little bit of extra space here and there because you never know. You never know with that 23 of Fuller Than You. That's a triple seven to Seabass to the outside of his teammates. The double zero of Mudbone battle on the track for the sixth position right now. Let's jump back here and we see the 88 of NM into the eighth position. So NM after starting in the 16th position has cut the cut cut his he's, he's into the eighth he's made it halfway up the field there we go and last week's winner the eight of moon bunny furiously trying to get around that 11 of tc roberts as here comes the 96 of nico as well so nico has worked himself into the 11th position after starting in the 14th position see what happened to that 320 or the 29 the 329 and the 29 have fallen way back in the pack here so we're going to see what happens with them as the race goes on lots of battling in the middle of this pack as we see three wide with the 799 of mike check and the 544 of frederick winkelbaum and the 999 of deviant so mike check is pushing that 34 of super snake as hard as he can right now, Super Snake, after starting in the ninth position, has fallen all the way back to, well, actually, he's listed right now in 13th. As we watch that 544, Frederick Winklebaum working through the pack. We'll get back up here towards the front of this field as we see that beautiful orange and black Dodge Challenger pace car. As the 420 at Queen of Hearts has some contention by the 10 of Scooter. Scooter looks like he's going to lose that position to the 23 of Fuller Than You here going into three and four. Does a little bit of a scrape on the outside wall is that 23 of Fuller Than You. So Fuller, I think, is going to be able to grab that position from the 10 of Scooter here. He is able to get around him on the, on the outside, so that puts two Aces to Zed Motorsports cars into uh, second and third right now. And you would think that they weren't in the battle for the team championship, but they kind of are still with, what do we got? One, two, three, four, five, six races to go here in the More Freedom Series. They are, if they can put together some wins, their team, it's viable that they could pull out the team championship here. They are down by about 142 points right now, but anything is possible as scooter i think is about to make it three wide with the 23 and the 420. oh they're into the oh no caution on the track you saw it live with the 23 and the 10 getting into each other watching that 23 of fuller than you he is going to be done for the day 
Oh my goodness, you saw it live here. The 23 and the 10 get into each other here on lap number 12. And that's going to put him out of the race. I bet, oh, the 544, the, the 95 get into an accident. The 329 in an accident, possibly the 29, possibly the 999. So we have multiple accidents happening on the track. Your leader on the track is the three of Geek Girl Games with Adam B5000 in second and Seabass in third. Mudbone looks like he's worked to fourth and NM is into the fifth position right now. NM might be staying out here. Looks like he's going to try to get those five bonus points. Very bad decision on the part of MBR to keep the 88 of NM out. Uh, that's going to be a rough go for him. So he's trying to get those five bonus points. I'm not sure if he will get around the three of Geek Girl Games before the start-finish line. He will, but he'll get those five bonus points. But that's going to be a rough road to hoe for the 88 of NM here. Let's see what G3 does. She is into her pit stall. Look at the bird's eye view of that three of Geek Girl games. Terrible, terrible view. No great cameras here. She's down and away. The 29 of Wishbone Attack is in. Double zero Mudbone looks like he's going to come out in the second position here. He's going to let her know that he's there. Mudbone is not going to be in the lead, but he is. he's thinking he's trying. He's trying to tell her, like, hey, yeah, hey, I got the lead here. I got the lead here. Of course, we couldn't see the end of pit road, and it is possible that... Nope, there he goes. He's letting her around. So G3 is going to be your leader. Let's go through what brought out that caution. Actually... NM is your leader, but let's go through what brought out that caution. You'll remember from watching it live, you're going to see the 23 and the 10 tangle here with the 420 of Queen of Hearts. Looks like the 10 gets into the right rear of the 23 of Folded and the New. Let's see this happen. Well, we're going to see what brings out what, what happens in the secondary part of this caution is the 13, a king of the aces, is absolutely going to slam the 420, a queen of hearts in the back back end. You're going to be on board from the 329 of heck of a duber. He's going to get a part of this action, too. From the roof cam on the 29, a wishbone attack. You saw that the 95 is Ed Brenna was in on this. Let's see what happens with him. Well, lots of Aces to Zed Motorsports cars involved in that. Let's go through those out of the race. The 23 or the 10 of Scooter is out. The 23 of Fuller than you is out. The 95 of Zed Brunna is out. The 329 of Heck of a Duber out of the race. The 420 of Queen of Hearts. The 13 of King of the Aces. And the 544 of Frederick Winklevom. So those are all the drivers out of this race as a result of that caution. The 88 of NM is going to be leading us down to take the green flag. He is your leader right now. Second is going to be the 3 of Geek Girl Games. Third will be the double zero of Mudbone. Fourth will be the 20. The Vata B5000 rounding out the top five would be the 96 of Nico. Sixth will be the 49 of Jetman. Eleven, seventh will be the 11 of TC Roberts. Eighth will be the 8 of Moon Bunny. Ninth will be the 51 of AJM. And the rounding out the top 10 will be the 777 of Seabass. So NM is very, very close here. I think he's going to get a one and done, and he's going to be into the pits. Again, tough row to hoe for that 88 of NM. That's going to put him way back in the pack. He doesn't get, he does not get going. He's got those bad tires, so he doesn't get going. He's going to fall back. He's going to lose. 
He's going to cause lots of chaos here, but the 88 of NM working to get to the back bumper of that three of Geek Girl Games. He's going to be the leader right now. He drops it down to the inside. I'm wondering if this is going to be it. He's going to come into those pits. He is off the gas. He's coming into the pits, folks. That's going to cause havoc with everybody behind him, but he is into the pits. And we're going to watch the three of Geek Girl Games take over the lead, solely over the lead again. As we got a three wide battle behind her with the 20 of Adam B5000, the double zero of Mudbone now three wide with the 49 of Jetman, and last week's winner, the eight of Moon Bunny. So Moon Bunny trying to make it win number four this season. As that 49 of Jetman works to the works into the third position right here. NM is going to lose a lap as they speed past him on the track. And I think he's just going to be hoping that maybe possibly for a caution. As it is three wide now with the three of Geek Girl Games, the 20 of Adam B5000 and that three and the 49 of Jetman. So G3 fighting on the outside right now with the 20 of Adam B5000 as they head down the backstretch into three and four. Adam is pushing his car as, as hard as he can as he is trying to take over the lead from the three of Geek Girl Games. The eight of Moon Bunny is absolutely right to the back bumper of the three of Geek Girl Games. She's basically pushing G3 out to the lead here. The 49 of Jetman to the outside of the 51 of AJM who started dead last on the day. He's now top 10 as we see the eight of Moon Bunny down to the inside of the three of Geek Girl Games. Moon Bunny who is trying to make it a back-to-back -back series wins here. She has now pushed that hot topic Chevy for Douche Motorsports out to the front of this field in amazing fashion, amazing fashion. After starting 24th here today, the eight of Moon Bunny has now taken that car, put it out to the front of this field. She is working on win number four this season, number four of the season. As we see the 20 of Adam B5, very excited about that that run by the eight of moon buddy the 20 of adam b5000 now into the second position here comes the 51 of ajm and the triple seven of seabass the 96 of nico now into the picture so ajm able to get around g3 i'm not sure if g3 just has a terrible set of tires on that car right now she's losing position after position right now to multiple drivers as the 51 of AJM trying to work down to the inside of the 20 of Adam B5000. They're working on catching up to that eight of Moon Bunny. Moon Bunny's still out to the lead here as we have about eight laps to go in this race. I think we're gonna see one more round of pit stops here today, which may get NM to the end of this, end of this race, but at what cost? So, AJM might lose this. Now he's not going to lose his position to G3. G3 might lose this position to the 49 of Jetman here. So G3 having led the most laps as of right now, she's lost that lead to the eight of Moon Bunny and has fallen back to fourth from the 20 of Adam B5000 and the 51 of AJM. The triple seven of Seabass trying to work down to her inside as we see the points leader, the 96 and the 96 of Nico battling it out on the track for the eighth position, seventh and eighth. As Jetman up into the, kind of up into the gray area on the track, that double zero of Mudbone is gonna go with him as they head into three and four. So now a AJM and Adam have both caught up to the back bumper of that eight of Moon Bunny. She <laughs> ran away there for a minute but the draft between these two cars was able to push, pull them up to the front of this field. As we see the 51 of AJM working down to the inside of both of the eight of Moon Bunny and the 20 of Adam B5000. I don't think that's gonna work for him as Adam on the outside right here. Jetman now into the fourth position, followed right behind him is gonna be the 20 or the double zero of Mudbone. 
the Mudbone into the fifth position here as we're working towards about five laps, to, five or six laps to go here in the More Freedom Series, this Michigan 60. So Adam is trying, he, he, excuse me, he definitely, he definitely has to have a win here this, to finish out the season. He probably needs more than one win if he's going to try to win this championship for Elliott Motorsports. It's going to be it's going to be tough for him to do it, but I think if he can get a couple wins here, he might be able to pull that off. As we see the double zero of Mudbo now into again, he's into the fifth position in front of G3. As G3 has got contention right now by the 11 of TC Roberts. I don't think TC has anything for her right now. The triple seven of Seabass. He has got a great run on that 11 of TC Roberts down into turn one and two. We're gonna see if Nico goes, who Nico goes with here. As the 72 of Duchess has now made her way into the top 10. Duchess who runs sixth in the points is trying to get some more points for Douche, Mo Douche Motorsports as the 51 and the 20 battle it right now with the eight of Moon Bunny for the lead of this race. Again, Moon Bunny going for win. I, I, I want to say win number four of this season, which is actually an amazing accomplishment when you think about it. She, after her win last week, she went from mid twenties up to 19th in the points. Um, so she is trying to win race number four, which was actually the, the highest amount of wins that we'd had in a season until this year with the double zero of Mudbone, who has now won five. But there is a possibility that if she can win this race and then one of the next five races, she could tie for that, that uh, season wins. The season win record. As we see the 11 of TC Roberts thinking about trying to get down to the inside of that double zero of Mudbone right now. Mudbone is going to have to fight him off and try to stay in this position, especially if the 20 of Adam B5000 can pull out a win here. Looks like the three of Geek Girl gains to the outside of the 11 of TC Roberts. The triple seven of Seabass is saying hello to the three of Geek Girl Games. It's a battle of the candy bars right now between the Reese's and Twix, but Twix, I think, is going to get this get the edge here over the Reese's car as Seabass and TC have teamed up right now. Now with G3, they're going to try to get Mudbone back, push Mudbone back a little bit here. Jump back up to the front of this field. We still see a battle between the these drivers and this might be pit stop time. Not yet. Oi. White flag is out. Nope, checkered flag, your winner today. The eight of Moon Buddy. I'm sorry, I didn't realize it was the last lap. I looked over and it was <laughs> lap zero to go. Uh, we're gonna call it right there, your winner today. Back to back race wins. The eight of Moon Buddy in spectacular fashion. You saw it, The amaz how she drove to the front of this field. Uh, well, let's go through your finishing top 10. Again, your winner in amazing fashion is that eight of Moon Bunny. Second's gonna be the 20 of Adam B5000. Third will be the 51 of AJM. Fourth will be the 49 of Jetman. Fifth will be the 11 of TC Roberts. Sixth will be the double zero of Mudbone. Seventh will be the triple seven of Seabass. Eighth will be the three of Geek Girl Games. Ninth will be the 96 of Nico. And rounding out your top 10 will be the 72 of Duchess. So awesome race today by that eight of Moon Bunny. What an amazing finish here at Michigan. Next week, we go through go to the short track for the North Wilkesboro 80. So that should be an interesting race next week. Let's check in on your team and chassis stand, or I'm sorry, your current points. You're seeing those here on the screen. Let's check in on your team and chassis standings. Great day for Douche Motorsports again. Well, the end caught up on me right there really quickly. And got so much action on the track here today at Michigan. And uh, we did have some people that had to pit right there at the end of the race, which was a tough break. 
but hey, an amazing race here at Michigan. Congratulations to the eight of Moon Bunny. She is your winner again. Back-to-back -back races here in the More Freedom Series. Win number four this season for her. And that is an amazing accomplishment for anybody in this series. Again, one more. she wins one more race and she can tie for that overall race wins in a season record with the double zero of Mudbone. So, hey, I'm looking forward to next week at North Wilkesboro. And until then, congratulations to the eight of Moonbunny and take care.